How's it going? Dave with Comic Book Investments. So yes, if you can see the picture right here, you can see CGC totally destroyed this comic that I got back from them. As you can see right here, there is literally pieces coming off of it. This is how I got it in. As you can see, it's all cracked right up there. You can see this big old crack right there. Yes, this completely destroyed, cracked. I got it in from CGC, opened up the box, and that one was the only one that's cracked. The rest of them were fine. So, yeah, and you can look through the pictures here. We can see there's big pieces missing from the bottom. Cracked all on the side right there. Big hole missing through it, and then you got that crack there. So I don't know how that happened, honestly. Just, just got destroyed. I just got this in from CGC. So, yes, this sucks, and this happens. It used to happen a lot more often if you watch my videos from a year ago it was all the time every single cgc submission i got back i had at least one crack case it was weird uh they've since probably fired all those people and now i don't really get them that often but i do get them i would say uh one out of a thousand i would get a crack case like this maybe not this bad but just something's wrong with it it's not right or maybe it's you know they printed the wrong information on it something like that um doesn't happen too often like I said it's pretty rare but if it does happen to you I will show you how you can fix it so yes I will show you exactly what you need to do to fix this what you do is you take lots of glue and no, I'm just joking uh, this is what you do so you go to CGC's website they're pretty good about it so um, you'll go over here to the top how to submit or submit and then you go uh, Let's see submission forms okay so now you're on this screen here you'll scroll down and you'll see online form for comic books and you click the little you know red thing right there uh, start new order all right so now you're in the start new order sections now this will differ so if you have if it's a magazine you click the magazine if it's poster poster right this is a comic book we hit the comic book all right then they'll ask you what do you want to do uh, it's obviously mail in or show uh, drop off that's the one you want to click now that doesn't mean that that's what you have to use okay then at the very bottom here you can see uh, different things you can do um, you want the very bottom one it says mechanical error slash return that's the one you want this very bottom one you click that this is a bunch of stuff who cares um, you can read it if you want but basically it's this little thing all right so then it's checked you hit the you know disclaimer now it's time to add in your comic book so like I said here it is let me make me a little smaller so you can see what's going on certification number all right so this the certification number if you guys aren't aware is this top number right where the serial number is so that's the number you want and that is the number you'll put in so I shall put in this serial number seven five one three five zero zero one okay look up the comic book amazing spider-man 210 that is the exact comic book i want declare value uh this doesn't really matter this is basically it's just an estimate for um insurance purposes so we'll just leave it at 100 and then reason for return this is where you want to select your reasoning you pick the bottom one if it's a clerical clerical error meaning that the you know it's a spider-man 210 but they put um, Spider-Man 209 or Spider-Man 100 instead of 210 like something like that like the labels that you do that I do hold or damage due to transit so that's the one you want to do describe the physical damage or what you observed with your collectible cracked case with pieces missing from the plastic case I got to put in my hundred forgot to put it in there and then you just go add comic book all right so now you're back to this screen as you can see right here it is zero dollars why is it zero dollars because it's not going to cost you anything when they crack the case you hit the review all right shipping method as you can see it's still zero dollars now so you'll click the choose shipping method unless you want to add another thing all right sometimes what if you have three cat i just did one where i had three crack cases oh, a couple months ago so it was actually two crack cases and one was like they put the sleeve in it weird. I don't know. Uh, choose shipping method. 
blah, blah, blah. This is where you fill out all your information right here. And then what will end up happening is once all the information is filled out, it will bring you to the next screen, which will be payment, but it's zero dollars, so it doesn't cost you anything. And then they send you a return label. Yes, you print it off from your computer. It's usually UPS, at least it is where I am. And then from there, yep, that's it. And you're done. And you just put it in a box, ship it away. It'll probably return to you in two months, three months. I don't know. They're always different. I've got them back as fast as a month. And my latest one was about two and a half months. So it's always different. Don't know which it'll be. And that is pretty much it. That is how you fix a CGC case if they send it to you and it's cracked. So there you go. That's how you fix it. So don't worry if you get a cracked case from CGC. The only downside is it's going to take you longer to get the book back. So that kind of sucks that if you're waiting, you get it and it's like, oh, it's cracked and you have to wait another couple months. So have a good day.